Hey everybody, welcome to this week's programming. I'm not in the basement this week. I am in my office at the gym, but uh, just want to go over this week's programming. So we're in the transition period. We're starting our new cycle. If uh, you check out our newsletter, which I'll put another link in this description, we got a 12 week strength cycle. We're starting, we're calling it Wave Warriors. It's gonna be really cool. We're using a lot of wave progressions in that. And it's gonna give a brief breakdown on that. We're also starting a new endurance program. And then this right here is going to kind of lead into our winter uh, open prep program for the gym. We're still keeping our two days a week of weightlifting in-house. We're going to add a flex Friday on this. So regardless of whether the weightlifting day starts on that, um, is lands on that one, we're still going to do accessory work for flex Friday on those. So everybody enjoys that. It's a lot of fun. But uh, we're gonna focus a lot on just the pure strength lifts. We're not gonna do the back squats since we just got done doing a back squat cycle and then a 20 rep max back squat. We're gonna do some front squatting and then we're gonna mix that in with some heavy deadlifting. So we get an interior load with the squat and then a big posterior pull with the deadlifts. And then obviously we're gonna be mixing in some Olympic lifting as well. But on the front squat days, we're definitely gonna be doing some uh, bench pressing and some rows to focus on that posterior chain a little bit more. And then also on the deadlift days, we'll be doing some uh, some type of strict overhead press, whether that be a regular barbell press, uh, dumbbell presses with banded holds, or just straight dumbbell presses, arm presses, whatever it is. We're just gonna mix it up, keep that strength level high, and maintain throughout this, uh, this winter. Starting off with today, this is a tough one today. Uh, every 10 minutes for 20 minutes, so two sets. You start each one with 800 meter run, then you're doing one round of barbell, and then you got max power snatches the first round. The next round, you're doing max cleaning jerks. Competitors RX is our competitors is as written, and then 135.95 on the barbell. RX, uh, we've had testers, we had some people go 15, 20, 25, 30. That seemed to be like a perfect progression while keeping the big run in place to give them time on the barbells. The, regardless of your time on which you get the first round, we've had some people two, two and a half minutes of testing, and then the second round they get like 10 seconds. This workout is all about energy, uh, energy expenditure. Like, don't push too hard on the run. You can't push too hard during the Barbara sets. Remember, Barbara's 20 pull-ups, 30 push-ups, 40 air squats, or 40 sit-ups, 50 air squats. Even if you do that unbroken, super fast, it's still gonna take you around two and a half to three minutes to complete. So now that you're under fatigue, your heart rate's up, your legs are a little heavy from the run, and you're getting ready to do some uh, work on the barbell, you need to factor that in when you're going all out. So if you do a three and a half to four minute run, then you spend another three and a half minutes on the barbell, that leaves you three minutes or three minutes on park or three and a half minutes on barbell. Now that leaves you three minutes on the barbell. That's a long time. And I would really uh, encourage you to do singles and make them like perfect reps. That's what we always want is perfection on those. And then obviously if you need to scale down to the fitness and you want just a great workout, four to 600 meter run, Throw that in there with the uh, 10, 15, 20, 25 perfect reps for your banded strict pull-ups or just strict pull-ups in general, some perfect push-ups, then your uh, sit-ups and then some air squats. And make sure that we get full depth and air squats and you're standing full up to extension. You don't want to keep that bent over hunchback and just think about speed on it. No, I want to make every rep perfect when I do these. Tuesdays is going to be our front, uh, front squats and uh, bench press, We're doing a close grip bench press. Every two minutes on the minute, you're going to be building up to a heavy set of five, essentially, on the front squats. Uh, I do have percentages written down in there, but that should end up around a, a heavy set of five. And then for the close grip bench press, we're going to do every three minutes for 12 minutes. Keep us in a nice time regimen. We're doing eight reps for both weights. So you're going to have your close grip bench press and you have a barbell set up in front. Or if you're uh, alone and you don't have multiple barbells, you can always do this kind of like as a as an EMOM, you can do the first half of it um, every minute on the minute, do your eight reps, rest one to two minutes, and then do eight reps every minute on the minute for your barbell rows. That's still gonna keep you in that time frame, keep it real short, keep the intensity high. So you wanna find a weight that's gonna be challenging for like the last one or two reps of each one of those sets. And that's a power row too. I'll send a video out on that. It's a little bit of a kip going on, I guess you could say a kip. But you're going to be starting with the bar from the floor, and you're going to have your hips and shoulders raised as you're rowing because we want to get maximum amount of effort and maximum use of those lats. And doing strict work is great, but every now and then, if you want to lift some really heavy weights and get that really big back, power rows are the way to do that. 
Then we're gonna end up with two sets of 12, 12 to 20 hamstring rowers. And then you also you got a kettlebell swings to upright rows, just working on those shoulders a little bit more. Wednesday is a conditioning piece, three different sections. Each one is gonna be 15 minutes. Section one or part A is gonna be a 12 minute EMOM, 300 to 250 meter row. That is a very high output. That's a 140 or less for the guys. I think a 150, 155 or less for the ladies to keep. If that is too much, what you're gonna do is just row one minute as hard as you can, get as far as you can, and then rest and keep that up with your total distance at the end. And then you're gonna rest three minutes from 12, well actually four minutes, but you're gonna rest from 12 to 15 minutes. At the 15 minute mark, you're gonna do a 12 minute AMRAP, ascending wall walks, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, as far as you can. And then 12 lateral box jump overs or just regular box jump overs in the, main, in the um, in, right after each set of wall walks. And then you're gonna rest three minutes after that. Then at the 30 minute mark, you got uh, one short time piece, 100 double unders, followed by 50 line facing burpees into 100 double unders. So we're going into something interval based, um, then we're going in for a longer AMRAP piece, and then we get fatigued, and then we're going to try to work maximum effort. Ideally, this for time should take you um, 10 minutes or less for sure, but we're looking for that, that five to eight minute range of hard work. Some of you might be able to sub five uh, doing that. If you can go unbroken on double unders and keep a really good pace on the, the burpees, that is very possible going sub five minutes on that. Thursday, we got our interval work for this week, a little bit more high skill than we have in the past. You got five sets, starting off with a 200 meter run, then you're coming into nine overhead squats, then you're gonna do a 12 nine calorie bike sprint, right into a max set of ring muscle ups. So if you gotta take a little bit of break, take a little bit of break, but we want those max ring muscle ups. If you're very good at them, you're very efficient at them, we're looking for that five to eight rep range every time. And if you're not and you're looking for your first one, something I would highly recommend, Maybe give yourselves two to three attempts. You're not feeling great. Go to burger pull-ups. Burger pull-ups are a great alternative to this. Um, then you can also, if you don't have that, you can do bar muscle-ups as well. If you have bar muscle-ups, not ring muscle-ups. Then one of my all-time favorites is something we're doing here regularly. I think it's a staple. It should be in everybody's programming. It's burpee pull-ups. And it's really hard to say, hey, what's your max set? So for a lot of people doing this, they're not going to do more than 20 to 30 seconds, especially that deep into that uh, set of five sets. So you give yourself 30 seconds to do as many burpee pull-ups as possible when you're doing that. Maybe even give yourself 45 seconds. If you can get to that like six to 10 rep range, you're doing really good. Then you're going to rest two and a half minutes between each set. Friday, going to our build to a heavy set. We're going to change it up a little bit going every four minutes on the minute for 20 minutes. So that's five sets, and you're gonna gradually build up to a heavy set of five. So it's gonna give you five sets of five to build up to that heavy deadlift. It's double overhand grip. I know a lot of you hate that, but it's really good in making sure that we stay efficient, make sure we stay safe, and it kind of puts a governor on where we are on our pulls. Now, with that being said, if you wanna start off with your first three sets or two sets and you have lifting straps, you can put your lifting straps on with a double overhand grip because what you're gonna feel is your upper back having to stay tight and it changes the lift up. So you're allowed to do that. After each set of those, you're gonna do 10 strict presses. And you can work up to a heavy set of 10 or stay light, doesn't matter. You just wanna get really good solid reps in. That's why we got that every four minutes. So it'll take you probably 30, 40 seconds to do the deadlifts and then go right into your uh, strict press. Now we get a lot of adequate amount of rest and you can add some weights and move back and forth, especially if you got partners in classes. And then after that, we got our Flex Fridays. We'll have some demos for everything that we got on there. You got double arm um, dumbbell, dumbbell bent arm lat raises, barbell curls, rolling tricep extensions, and then some max barbell rollouts. And that's not in the remaining time. So it says every six minutes for 18 minutes. That's like a max set. If you get to that 15, 20, rep, 20 reps, into it, I would just stop right there. Saturday, you've got a fun team workout, or if you don't have a partner, you can always do a rest one-to-one -one ratio, 24 minute AMRAP, you go, I go style. It's gonna start off with two to one rope climbs. We love rope climbs on Saturdays, a lot of fun. 
50 foot single arm overhead walking lunge. So you can walk 25 feet away from the rig, switch hands if you want to, then walk 25 feet back, jump up nine to 12 toes to bar. Then you have four shoulder sprints. When you get done with the four shoulder sprint, run through the bull, run through pull bars, tag your partner, then they start doing the rope climbs, and then you get your rest in between. That right there, two rope climbs, takes you roughly 30 seconds, maybe 50 foot overhead walking lunge. That's probably gonna be another 30 to 45 seconds. So we're looking at a minute, minute 15, nine to 12 toes to bar, 15 seconds, so looking at a minute and a half. And then four shoulder sprints. That takes about eight seconds shoulder sprints. Now we're looking at two minutes. So we're trying to stay in that two minute range, two and a half minute range per round on this Saturday's AMRAP for your teams. Once again, check out the newsletter, look up the new Wave Warrior Strength Program, Battle Build Program we got coming up. Uh, you're really gonna like that and then check out our endurance program and then the performance and then keep up to date with all the competitor stuff as well. Have a great week. See you next on the